though, now that we've successfully registered and successfully added a payment method, hopefully in your case too, but in my case, I've successfully added a payment method. You can see the message here about adding payment method disappeared. And now it's telling me I can buy crypto. So which cryptocurrency should we buy? Well, let's just click here and see that immediately it's telling me here that before making your first purchase, please verify your identity. Identity verification help us to ensure the safety and security of your Coinbase account. So this is where you have to now provide that um, government issue ID that I mentioned in the first video. And so you're gonna go to submit ID and then they're gonna ask you, what do you wanna use? Driver license or state issued ID? Uh, state issue ID is gonna be more like a, um, you know, your passport or something like this. So follow what makes sense to you. There's no point in me showing you which one to do. Now, again, remember if you're in a different part of the world, maybe they might ask something different. Once you figure out which one of these things you want to use, but like, let's say in my case, I decide to use driver's license. Now it might ask me, and again, it might differ for you, but here it's giving me the option to either use my webcam or a mobile camera to take a picture of the documents, or if I have them already, I can upload them. So depending on what you have available, one of these things might make sense for you if they even offer it. So meet you back here once you've finished your ID verification. So I've locked back into Coinbase and um, I'm using my old Coinbase account. And the reason for that is um, the other account, I'll have to verify it, which we saw before that you will need to do, but I already have an account that's already verified. So instead of me trying to verify yet a second account, I just switch back to using my previous account. So now that you're back in, um, you're going to be on the home page. This chart that you're seeing here is because I already have an asset in Coinbase. And so we'll go straight to trade because that's what we want to do. We want to trade, right? Or buy and sell tokens. In this case, since you don't have any, we're going to start off by, with buying. And once you click on this trade, um, link on the side to go to the trade screen, you can see that there are a number of tokens that are assets are listed, digital assets that are listed. And this is showing you the price and so on within the past 24 hours, you could go past hour or whatever. And so you can see at this time, Bitcoin is down to 46,000. If you remember what I told you from the previous video, when I recorded that Bitcoin was 51,000 to now when I'm recording this, is less than 48 hours or about 48 hours and it's already fluctuated or down by like $5,000. It could have been the other way. It would have been up by $5,000. And if you click on this and you look at now over, let's look at 24 hours. You can see Bitcoin price here was $46,000. It dipped at some point to $45,000. And here is around low 46, just at 46 exactly. But it was like, you know, 46 3 400 there and then within two and four hours it looked like if it just sort of level off it um but if you look at a week you can see that back here it was 48 to the beginning of the week ago um at some point it dropped to 42 as much as 42 so six thousand dollar drop and notice how quickly it did that and bounced back up to where it's now hovering around 46. if you look at month at the month that's going to be even more stark if you look at the beginning of the month uh, some way August 8th and this is September 8th or around 7th or something um, it was 42 and it got up to as much as 52,000 and then notice that short drop off right so this is why I say that oh the crypto market is very volatile and so this is really playing around you know and a year ago exactly September 11th last year you could have gotten Bitcoin for $10,000 and you can see that it was a steep run up and then it even got all the way up to maybe $64,000 and then drop back off and so on. So that just gives you an idea of how volatile this is. So this is just Bitcoin. Okay. Let's go back to trade. Um, and Ethereum. Now Ethereum is much cheaper than Bitcoin. Uh, it's yet another token. Um, it's probably one of the second most popular one. And that's kind of reflected by the price also. And we can look at what it's been doing for the past month. And you can see the similar sort of thing. And about the same day, 
that Bitcoin drop, it also drops. So some of these tokens get affected in similar ways, depending on what's going on and what people's sentiments are, like I said. And if you look at the year, you'll see a similar type of chart. Uh, about a year ago, Ethereum was, you know, 10 times cheaper, 300 and something dollars, 50 something dollars, and then got up to as much as, you know, $4,000 um, some point um, in around May or something thereabout, and then dropped off, and then now it's sort of going back up now, and then it did a sharp drop off there. And I'm showing you this to just so that you really drive home the, the point that you can't make any prediction, just like with the stock market. If you want to look at the stock market, you see the same thing. Um, the stocks all the place. I'm not saying whether uh, this is better to invest here or not. Remember, I'm not giving you investment idea. I'm just giving you facts that these things are all over the place and you don't know why they go up or go down. Um, Cardona, this is not a token. Um, you can look at what it's been doing for the whole year. And it, over here about a year ago, it was about 10 cents. And today, you know, it's selling for $2.47. So, um, you know, if you had invested in Cardona, then you'd have made a nice 2,000% increase in your money. Because if you just look at percentage, don't look at the, the actual value. If you had invested $100 or $1,000, it's still gone up by 2,000 something percent. So it's all up to you what you want to risk in this sort of environment, because it could go the other way too. Um, Solana is an interesting one. Solana, if you look at Solana's price today, it's around 190 something. But if we go a week ago, Solana was selling for 110. A month ago, it was selling for about $37. And a year ago, look at this. Solana was about three or $4 there. But if you do all, but look at the steep run up in prices recently, okay? Um, if you do all, that's even more interesting because if you go back to somewhere like April of last year, it was selling for 95 cents. And then it went down even to the point where you could have gotten it for like 50 something cents, you know, at different points. But, <laughs> you know, and then around July, is when I first heard about Solana as an example, and it was 70 something cents. And there it is today, it's, you know, it's climbed up quite a bit. And so again, 22,000%. Notice that how these are only the good cases where it has gone up and you'd have to wait, you know, a whole year or whatever. Sometimes you have to wait much longer. Um, if we go back and we look at something like Dogecoin, this guy, you will see if we do a year, it's been silly. I mean, it doesn't even register here really. And then it was just, you know, pennies. And then it sort of went up a few cents and, you know, it went to maybe 75 cents, 74 cents, and it's back down to about the 20 cents range. So, so you never know what's gonna happen. It's always sort of going, some of these could be, you know, and you might still argue, that, oh, but this, still went up overall. Are you gonna wait? And what if you had bought somewhere here when it's going up and then side drop again? Um, are you gonna panic and sell? So the same thing that goes in the regular stock market, same thing applies here. And so let's do here and let's do one year. and look at a bunch of tokens across a bunch of tokens. And so you can see that some tokens were, of course, um, stellar performers compared to other ones, but some went down over that year. Um, now, in general, it looked like if some of them were generally up, but that's not always. Past performance doesn't mean future performance, okay? So um, you never know what's gonna, uh, which token is going to take off, which is not. Remember that some people abandon tokens, some people do something called pump and dump. So, all right, we'll talk all about that another time. Here, we're going to go back to just buying tokens. So let's say we wanted to buy, I don't know, let's buy... Pick anyone you want. I'm just going to go buy a bunch of cheap tokens. And so for now, for this example, I'm probably going to buy some Cardona. And so let's say I click on that and I click buy and sell. And so I want to buy. And so this is a one-time purchase. I don't want to sell. Convert. We'll talk about convert another day. And so let's just say I wanted to buy 
ten dollars. Um, it's actually if you want to send your ADA when you buy it, you can send it all of it instantly, which means that as soon as you buy it, it's available to you to send. Some um, exchanges like Binance allows you to buy, but then you have to wait like I think ten days or something, a few days before you can send it. Um, it's not the only one that does that. Okay, so let's just say we wanted to buy how many. So now notice it's telling me I'm gonna pay with this credit, this um, financial institution I have linked. This is the price um, purchase. I want to. I'm gonna spend nine dollars. There's a fee, um, Coinbase fee. Sometimes there's a network fee and all these other complicated things. But I can just go ahead and say right now I don't have any ADA, but I can say buy, and it's telling me that I'm gonna get three point six whatever. Notice with digital currencies you can get fraction of this digital currency because. It's digital and that's just some, how it works. And the fraction doesn't mean like um, with dollars or you just get, and you can hear that it's just on my phone. I have um, Coinbase on my phone. So if you're using Coinbase, which is what we've set up so far, you can install the Coinbase app on your mobile device and you can also see your transaction and do all the same stuff there. So now if I go back to my, like if I go to wallet, you can see here, that is telling me within my wallet, I have three point something ADA, which is valued about, you know, nine, well, almost there's how much I use, but in the time that I bought it, it went down. So this is actually the value. So if I try to sell it now, I'm actually gonna get less than I actually paid for it. I pay like $9 and a penny, but, and I use this credit, this card, my bank account and all this other crap. And this is the day and so on. And so now you can see it's available for me to send since we're talking about buying today and not sending. So if you want, you can click on portfolio and you should be able to see all your digital assets. So you should see that you have a non-zero amount of ADA. So if I scroll along here, I should see that um, I have Cordona ADA and here it is. Um, it's telling me I have 3.6, of course, blah, blah, blah. You'll notice I have a ton of other tokens. Again, I'm not endorsing anything. Some of these tokens I got for free. Um, here on Coinbase, you can watch some videos and they can give you some certain type of tokens. Um, some of them I bought, it doesn't really matter. Just don't worry with me and buy the same token you see I buy because if you lose your money, I mentioned this before, don't tell me about it. Okay, so hopefully you know now how to buy digital tokens or digital assets. Take care, see you in the next video.